So here we go, all set for the final race of season three. Just waiting for the lights to go green. It's a reverse grid uh, from the championship order. And here we go, this, uh, this carnage at the back. Sykes and Pengelly have touched, and Sykes has hit the wall. So poor start already for Sykes. The field charge into the Dunlop coast for the first time. So Pearson looks like he's got a good start into second. But Pearson goes straight up. Pearson has a huge shunt. Taken out at uh, the first uh, chicane. Uh, so we'll have to watch a replay, see what happened there. But uh, as we go back to second now, this is uh, looks like Coleman has got a decent start. Uh, and they've got Charters and Pengelly. Pengelly gives Charters a uh, hit up the rear as we go into the sh uh, chicane. And you see him again. Pengelly's put Charters off and Pengelly goes off himself. And the guy has gone off as well. So we've got utter carnage in the first uh, few corners. So now we're looking at uh, Pengelly and, and Ross having a bit of a, a, a tangle now as well. So complete mayhem in the first couple of corners as they head on to the Mulsanne straight for the first time. Looks like Boulay's got the way cleanly, uh, followed by Coleman and Lewis. Uh, we're on board with Ross now. He's picking up a bit of a toe. Now we go on to uh, Pengelly as he's coming out behind Charters. Uh, both of them uh, driving the uh, Salvers. And Charters gets a bit of a tank slapper coming out of the uh, first chicane. And uh, looks like he's moved over. Whether he's trying to break the toe or just moving over to Pengelly. And Pengelly's up to fourth. So Pengelly started last. Ninth on the grid as the uh, championship leader. Uh, he's now up to fourth. Now his chance is going to get back into the sixth stream and challenge him into the second chicane. Yeah, he should have a good run. He looks at the inside. Is he going to take him? Uh, no. Well, he gives him a bit of a nudge, but uh, old ball with Pengelly. Now looking back at Charters. Uh, is Charters going to take a run now? I think it's Ross actually. Charters needs to be worried about. Looks like Ross in the Nissan has got a decent run coming out the second chicane as they head towards uh, Molson Kink. Is Ross going to have a go around the outside? Yes, he does. The Charters has gone from fourth to sixth in the space of one straight as they break now from Molson Corner, one of the slowest corners on the straight. And Ross has gone off though. Ross from fifth gone off and uh, he's down the seventh and it looks like uh, so both Charters and Sykes have gone past Ross and it looks like Pierce is going to have a run on him as well as they go side by side as they go through the kinks and yeah it looks like uh, Pierce has gone into seventh so a uh, yeah, disaster of a couple of corners there for Ross but it looks like uh, the uh, top speed of the Nissan is uh, hitting around 240-ish whereas the Porsche they're doing 225 so Ross goes back in the seventh as they go into uh, Indianapolis but uh, um, but Ross has missed his breaking point through Indianapolis has gone off so Ross uh, was fifth down to uh, eighth up to seventh and now down to eighth again so if you watch Charters this is the replay we saw just in the in the corner so coming out of Indianapolis Charters gets a bit of a tank slapper himself put the power down lose the back end Sykes goes past so and Charters is now spun to uh, rub salt in the wounds so as we go into Arnage Charters has spun so Sykes has moved up to fifth from his disastrous start and now we're looking at the uh, the battle for second between the two teammates in this hands so we've got Coleman in front of Chris uh, Lewis. Um, Lewis has been quick all uh, all through practice, so we'll see what we can do about his teammate. It looks like uh, Coleman's gone a bit wide, and uh, Lewis just cruises through. So Lewis up to second, Coleman down to third. So a frenetic first lap uh, as Coleman breaks for the full chicane, and Coleman's now braked himself. So Pengelly is now up to third. So fantastic first lap for Pengelly. He started ninth and up to third. Watching the replay now at the start, and Sykes actually got a great start and uh, just nudged the back of Coleman, and then the back end swapped on him and he hit the wall. So, uh, yeah, bizarre uh, instant there. He didn't like he did too much wrong um, in car now, and actually, ironically, he got a great start, which he doesn't often get. And, yeah, just clipped the back end of, uh, of uh, Coleman, and ironically, then comes up against the Porsche barrier. Uh, so now on board watching what happened in that first chicane and he looks like ah yeah so Coleman uh, hit his teammate Lewis who then ricocheted into, into Pierce so watching it now on board from Coleman so Lewis is all over there so there's a the hit Coleman hits Lewis who then uh, just punts clean uh, Pierce off the track into a big shunt uh, and now we're watching uh, the Pengelly and Charters so yeah Pengelly gives uh, hits uh, uh, Charters once and then coming out of the chicane yep just turns him around it goes off a good measure. It doesn't lose too much time, but uh, and you can see there, Ross gives uh, the guy a healthy chop through uh, Tetra Rouge and then uh, gives him a bit of a nudge to go on the Molson straight for the first time. So incredible first uh, first couple of uh, corners and then lap. And then we're watching now Sykes, Sykes passing Pierce down Molson. Uh, the two teammates, Pierce just lets him through. And then through the chicane, the guy gets a bit wide and then Sykes tries to muscle his way through. They go through the first chicane. Uh, so it looks like Sykes has got a run coming out and yeah, he's just got past him but the Nissan's got a good top line speed. 
pretty much the same as the Salva, so can they go and get in the tow and get a good clean run into the second chicane? He's picking up the tow now as he starts to close but on the uh, Salva in front of him. Is he going to go? No, no, he breaks a bit early. And here comes Pierce. So Pierce gives, uh, takes to the, to the uh, inside of the curve to avoid the going. So the going from challenging Sykes into the second chicane has now got Pierce all over the back of him in the Porsche 962. Will Pierce have a go as we go through the milestone kink? He's getting, picking up a bit of a tone now. Uh, the going is a bit, he's uh, had the me lap, so he might break a little bit earlier than Pierce. And as well as I thought would happen, uh, the guy in breaks a little bit early, Pierce didn't, uh, didn't make the houses for that and just as clean taking the guy off, straight into the barrier. And now we see him taking a run at uh, a replay of him taking a run out of uh, uh, Mossan corner at uh, Ross. Clean down the inside, he had more momentum coming out, but here we can see the top speed of the Nissan. Just an easy pass for Ross up the inside as they uh, head towards the Indianapolis. One of the hardest corners on the track because it's virtually flat out and then uh, Ross just got his braking a little bit wrong and straight into the ground. So at the end of lap one, we've got Boulay who's got a quite healthy lead now, followed by Lewis and then Pen Galli not too far behind him, then the recovering Sykes. So Sykes actually didn't lose too much time in the end uh, after that uh, first lap drama. Uh, first uh, start line drama, sorry. Uh, then you've got Pierce in fifth, followed by Coleman in sixth, with uh, Ross pretty close behind him, and then a little bit further back, we've got Charters and Salva down in eighth, and then we've got the going in ninth. So, onto the Molson straight, with Boule followed by Lewis, and then Pigelli in the pink Salva, trying to close him down. Coming into the second chicane. So, Pigelli, all he really has to do is finish this race. Uh, he's got a comfortable lead in the championship now. Uh, really, the battle is for second, third, and fourth, and fifth. Um, Ross at the moment is in second, but we got double points uh, for this round. So if uh, Sykes does well and Ross doesn't have such a great race, and Sykes can still take second. So through the uh, Molson corner, and there you can see. So halfway through the second lap, the top four are all within the same shot. So it's incredibly close still. To me, this is such a long lap. Are the top four that close? So we got uh, Lewis there being chased down by Pengelly. Pengelly probably the favourite for this race. Uh, but he's getting really close there, they go through the king. So is he going to have a look into Indianapolis? I very much doubt it. it's a very, as I said, a very tricky corner. Uh, so it's a virtually flat left into a tight right. Um, virtually flat right into a tight left. Uh, then you've got the tricky break in for Arnage, which is unsighted, uh, especially in the, uh, uh, the time of day they're running this race. So you get the shadows, which makes it very hard to pick up a breaking point. Uh, so now we're back with uh, Lewis going through the Porsche curves. And uh, a little tap of the wall there, Pengeli's obviously pushing pretty hard. Uh, these, these corners are absolutely uh, mind-blowingly quick in these cars. They're sort of going through 140, 150 mile an hour way through. Uh, so uh, on, on board with the uh, leader, Boulay, who's uh, going to the pits. So, end of the second lap, Boulay's into the pits already. Well, a bit of, he was a bit hot going in there and uh, took a good chunk out of the wall, but he's into the pits and Pengeli's as well. So, interesting strategy from these two. Uh, they're stopping after two laps rather than sort of three to four. Uh, so, we'll see where this one shakes out. It looks like uh, Lewis and Sykes are going with a more sort of conventional three uh, lap stint. So, interesting tactics from the, uh, the top two. I wonder if Pengeli copied Boulay, um, or whether that was uh, preordained. But uh, yeah, so, Lewis and Sykes take, uh, take over the front. Uh, we're with the leader now, as he heads down the Morsal straight into the first chicane. Reasonable lead from Sykes, but uh, it's feel pretty close. Uh, gets a bit hot in there though. You can see that the tyres are starting to go off a little bit, and Sykes as well. So you can see that, uh, yeah, sort of halfway around the third lap, but the tyres are starting to go off a bit. So uh, I'd expect Boulay and Pen to have a bit of advantage here because uh, they, they've now got uh, fresh tyres on. And now we've got uh, Pierce, and uh, yeah, he's sliding around a bit as well. So tyres obviously taking a little bit of a punishment here. Uh, and he gets uh, Ross, who, who does tend to get more life out of his tyres than most anyway. So and Pierce has got uh, a bit uh, cooked up through uh, second chicane as well. Ross gets a little bit of a slide coming out, but uh, is this going to give Ross a bit of a look? So can he uh, can he get revenge of uh, what happened at um, Mulsanne Corner on the first lap? So here we go, coming into the Mulsanne Kink, uh, which makes breaking quite awkward. You have to break as you're going through it, but uh, uh, Pierce covers the inside. So no uh, no gap there for Ross to go through, but uh, Pagelli's lost it though, as the bumpers you come out, 
Um, the driver's been complaining about that. It's a bump if you come over the kerb, coming out of uh, North Southern Corner, and he put the power down and uh, obviously lost the back end. So Pierce is back down to sixth, and Ross is up to fifth. So uh, a good couple of laps there from Ross, making up for some of that lost time. So in comes the leader, in comes Lewis, and in comes Sykes as well. So we've got a battle between the pit crews here. There uh, wasn't much between them on the track, so I um, would expect Lewis to come out uh, in top, but probably third, and he's. Uh, uh, Sykes in the uh, dark blue Salva. So it looks like, yeah, so Lewis has come out just in just in third. So Pengay switched around the, uh, into the Dunlop curve for the fourth time, and then uh, Lewis has come out just behind him, and then Sykes has come out in fourth. So status quo as per before the uh, pit stops to the end of lap two. So we've got Boule uh, leading just from Pengay, and then you've got Lewis uh, just behind, and then Sykes not far behind as well. So. This is turning into an absolutely f fantastic scrap at the front. We've got the top four covered by probably five or six seconds. You can see there, the top three all within one shot. And it's like it's not behind, far behind them. So yeah, five or six seconds covers the top four. So this is turning into a fantastic uh, uh, race at uh, Le Mans. So, back on uh, watching uh, Boulay now going into uh, to First chicane, and he's got uh, Penke getting really close now. And uh, Lewis got a little bit, a uh, little bit too quick into the first, uh, first right hander there for chicane. I've run it a bit, but uh, he looks like he's picked up the penalty, but that probably won't be too bad. But yeah, so it looks like Penke is beginning to chase Boulay down now. So Boulay in the uh, distinctive Mazda 787, it's high pitched uh, whale from the uh, rotary Wankel engine. I think Ellie was going to have a look there, but uh, yeah, left his brain a little bit late. Boulay did as well, and Boulay uh, struggled to put the power down a bit, so these two obviously now uh, onto their the second lap of the uh, new tyres. Uh, so maybe the tyres are going to get off a little bit. Um, so Pengay, is he going to get have a look into more sun corners to come through the kink? He gets very close though, and uh, gives a little, little, little bit of love tap there to Boulay as. Uh, as they broke for uh, Mosan Corner, but now as we head up through the uh, kinks in, towards Indianapolis, and you can see, yeah, Penge is getting really close now as they go through Indianapolis. Is he going to have a go? He uh, takes the switch to the outside, and the Boulay's uh, missing break is very slightly, leaves a small gap. Penge is through, so Penge takes the lead, uh, breaking through Indianapolis uh, as they go into Arlaj, and uh, Penge, um, Boulay, maybe his tyres are already starting to go because he uh, outbreaks himself a little bit there. It looks like uh, Lewis is going to have a run for a second now, so. Uh, yeah, so Lewis goes uh, goes past as they head into the Porsche curves for the fourth time. Is Boulay going to have a go now? So he's right on the tail as they head into the Porsche curves, which is a very hard place to we go on board. That's a very hard place to uh, make a pass, so. Um, so I think uh, Lewis has got, uh, he's fairly safe now through this section. Uh, but of course, Boulay uh, has now got Sykes on his tail. So we look back on Sykes, and Sykes has got really close as they come through the Porsche curves. Uh, um, it looks like he might be able to move, and uh, I think he was a bit unsighted there. He actually cut the corner as they come into the Ford chicane. Uh, I don't know, he's lost a lot. Yeah, you can see that he was a bit unsighted there and missed his breaking point. And he's lost a lot of times they go through the Ford chicane. So, um, end of lap four, we got Pink Ellie now in the lead, but uh, Boulay's had a good run through the Ford chicane. Now he's right on the tail as they go into Dunlop for the fifth time. Is uh, Boulay going to have a go? But uh, uh, Lewis makes a little bit of a mistake there, misses his breaking a little bit, and we got Boulay now. He's right behind, and he gets uh, gets all the power, and the back end goes. Well, these tyres are starting to degrade as well. So is Boulay going to have a look as they go uh, uh, through the S's? Uh, they head towards their Tetra Rouge, and uh, Lewis again goes a little bit wide. Gets a little bit too much curve. They go through Tetra Rouge. Is he going to have a go? Nah, no, but both run very wide though off the track. So uh, now we're on board with Sykes. Um, we had a bit of a cleaner run through Tetra Rouge. It looks like he's going to pick up a good slipstream. Uh, and that uh, Sauber is, uh, again, has got a pretty good top end as well. So he's picking up a toe now. Is he going to have a, make a move into the uh, first chicane? Pulls out to go inside and uh, yeah, down the inside. Good move there from Sykes. Nice and clean. Really gave him uh, plenty of room. Uh, but uh, Bulo's got a nice run out. So let's see if the Mazda can uh, can come back on the Sauber as we come down to second chicane. So he's in the toe. Uh, but it sounds like he's... He's pretty much run out of gearing, and so no. Sykes um, gives a little bit deep in there, but uh, looks like the Mazda hasn't quite got the top end there to, uh, even though he was in the slipstream, to uh, make gain on the Salva. So now looking back from Sykes, he's uh, above the cockpit uh, canopy cam. 
and uh, I don't think Boulay's got the, the top line street, uh, top um, speed to uh, make it in rows, so he's going to have a look at he into the Mulsanne corner? No. No, so I think uh, that, that could be, uh, I think uh, Boulay's going to have to wait a little bit and uh, see what happens to the front two. Um, in front of him, but uh, still very close. You can see Pinko's got a little bit of a lead now. These two, uh, these three, will be scrapping, but uh, it's still really close. And uh, you know, fantastic battle here for second. So a couple of seconds covers the two to four. So this is a great scrap. It's uh, yeah, halfway through the race, and uh, the, you know the top four are still only separated by about six or seven seconds, maybe less. So they go for Arnage, which again is a tricky, uh, tricky right-hander, easy to get wrong. Uh, following Lewis I think, towards the Porsche curves. And look, we got Pengeli now. Pengeli is coming to the pit, so his first stint was two laps, and uh, he's now gone for more conventional three stints, so I imagine he's probably doing three to the end of the race. So he comes back out in third place, because uh, Boulay's following him as well, so Pengeli and Boulay look like they're doing the same strategy. So back with Lewis again now, who's... Uh, Inherited the lead again, so uh, we got Lewis first and Sykes second, as it was a few laps ago when uh, Pengeli and Boulay first pit. So interesting that we've got at least two different strategies going on. Looks like Lewis and Sykes are going for 3-3-3-2 three, 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 of the 11 laps, and Pengeli and Boulay are doing 2-3-3-3. Three, three, three. So it'll be interesting to see how this one shakes out. Uh, here we're watching Boulay now coming down uh, in towards Mossan Corner and then through the Kinks. And uh, this is Ross, I haven't seen much of him uh, for the last couple of laps, but uh, he's not too far behind him fifth, he's still in play if uh, the uh, front four run into trouble. And you got a little bit further back, we've got Pierce in sixth, and then Charters in seventh, followed by Coleman who's just coming down the first section of Molson in eighth, and then Nagoyan uh, in ninth. And uh, unfortunately Nagoyan there uh, just misses his braking, which could be quite important actually, because he's just gone off the track. And the leaders are coming up to him there. You can see Nagoyan is recovering, and uh, Lewis has got, got a bit of a power slide coming out of Arnage, and this might give Sykes a bit of a run. So, is uh, Lewis going to lose the lead here? Sykes, he's uh, right behind Nagoyan, but uh, uh, Lewis is trying to get a toe from Nagoyan, um, but Nagoyan has moved over a little bit, and Lewis, uh, I think, must have just braked a little bit to avoid him, and Sykes is through. So, um, Nagoyan went off the track there and just is recovering. He, uh, he looks like uh, Lewis was a little bit. Uh, I uh, wasn't quite sure uh, what the guy would do, and uh, Sykes is through. So as we go through Porsche curves, the uh, Sauber is getting to the lead. So Sykes into the lead after uh, being last off the grid, uh, he's now in the lead. So I'm expecting though that both Sykes and Lewis to go in the pits. So Sykes is in, and Lewis made it look like he was going to go in, but no, he carries on. So Sykes is in after a three, uh, another three laps did. Lewis is carrying on. So this is interesting for Lewis. So you've got. Boulay and uh, Pengeli uh, in second and third, and that are going to be uh, on a, probably a 2 3 3 3 stint. And then you've got uh, Sykes, who's on a 3 uh, sorry, a 3 3 3 2. And then you've got Lewis, who is trying to, this is now his fourth lap on these tyres. So this is interesting, see what he's trying to do here. And of course, he's got Pengeli now all over the back of him. Pengeli's tyres are uh, much fresher. Um, so uh, they both go wide for Tetra Rouge, but I think uh, Pengeli is going to get a decent run. Um, the top end of that Sauber is uh, is uh, pretty good, and this hand's strong as well as we've seen. But uh, he had a better run out of Tetra Rouge. So Luis now back in the, the slipstream. Now on board with him. Is he going to have a look into the first chicane of Pengeli? I would be surprised if he did. But uh, Pengeli goes a little bit deep. Uh, Luis had to think about it, but uh, I think he's run out of tyres. So uh, then you can see, yeah, he's fish tailed and struggling to get the power down. So. Uh, Interesting strategy here from Lewis. I wonder how this will play out towards the end. So, uh, so we now uh, watch uh, Lewis being chased down by Sykes as they head towards the Porsche curves. Pengeli now has got a bit of a lead. Uh, so we're now on lap seven. Uh, Pengeli looks like he's probably safe now, given that uh, Lewis has gone to stop probably at least twice. Um, and there's Sykes chasing him third. So these two are still uh, tied together. It's, it's not been much between them for about since about lap two really there's been sort of no more than three or four seconds in between them so here comes Lewis now so he's done four uh, four laps on those tyres is he gonna try he's put softs on and so is Boulay looks like he's gonna put softs on as well so is Lewis gonna try a 3-4-4 four, four strategy and try and uh, reduce uh, have one less pit stop than Sykes uh, in front of him so 
Interesting strategy this. This uh, so Sykes at the moment is in second. Uh, and we got Pengali in first. Uh, Pengali is a little bit in front now and you can see his, uh, his raw pace is uh, he's just over, it's about half a second quicker than Sykes so far. Uh, so they're quite close but uh, and then we've got Chris, uh, Chris Lewis uh, now in third. Uh, he's on a 13. Eight. Uh, so in comes Pengeli though, so Pengeli in for super soft by the looks of it. So he's going to drop down to third. He should get out in front of uh, Ule, so yep, as we go into lap nine. Um, so Pengeli's got th three laps stint to finish, uh, whereas Sykes is probably going to come in at the end of this lap and have two, uh, a two lap stint. So um, he's virtually a pit stop ahead by the looks of it. Uh, especially considering that Sykes is now on his third lap on his tyres, whereas Pengeli's on fresh uh, super softs. So we'll see what Pengeli can do. And here's Lewis then, so I think the real battle now is between Sykes and Lewis. Uh, Lewis is now on fresh tyres, and you've got Boulay coming through the S's, as we uh, head towards Tetra Rouge. So I think it's really to see how, uh, when Sykes comes in for his last pit stop, Will Lewis have one more stop to go? In which case Sykes should be taking second. As he goes down, more chance of spring shot as uh, Pengeli chases Sykes down. So you can see he's clearly closing on now as they head towards the second chicane. Um, so will, will Lewis have one, uh, one more stop? Uh, or will he try and make it uh, again with four laps on these tyres? So, which means that Sykes will probably be coming out behind him, but will have fresh tyres. So, amazing that after, on our ninth lap, we're still not quite sure. It looks like Pengeli is probably safe in the lead once uh, Sykes makes his final stop, but we still don't know who's going to come second or third. And even then, Pengeli can't make any mistakes. He's, he's not that far in front of uh, the battling Lewis and Sykes to uh, actually be safe. So this one's going down all the way down to the wire by the looks of it. So they come through out of the Porsche curves, heading towards the Porsche chicane. Is Sykes going to go into the pits? I would imagine he can't uh, try and go to the end of another two laps. So it's him squirming on the brake in there, trying to brake as late as he can. So Sykes is in. I imagine he's going to go for super soft for the last two, uh, two laps. Yes, he does. Will he get out of, uh, behind the uh, front of Lewis? Oh, there goes Lewis. So yeah, he's come out just behind him. But of course, Lewis is now onto his third lap with these tyres, where Sykes is now coming out fresh super self so this is going to be interesting uh, can Lewis hold off Sykes I think Sykes has got a bit more raw pace um, Lewis is fastest is a 13.8 and he's got older tyres now whereas Sykes has got a two stint uh, two lap stint to the flag which means he can he doesn't have to do any kind of tyre saving he can just throw caution to the wind and he's already starting to close a lot so you can see here as he Start to pick up the tire as they come towards the first chicane. I think he's too far behind, uh, but maybe we'll have a look as they come out. But uh, Sykes, uh, Sykes has missed his breaking point by looks. So he goes straight clean past. Uh, had to shortcut the chicane to avoid uh, Peter Lewis, and that might have cost Sykes second. Obviously, Sykes needs uh, second, so we watch it in, uh, in car again. And it looks like he, he, he told me before the race that he, he's, had a, he's got a new brake set up. Uh, he's been struggling to get uh, used to the brakes. And, that might have been it, he might have not actually had full break in as he went into the chicane. Um, Boulay's in again, uh, so he's going to do a uh, two uh, lap stint on the soft as well. So that might have, that might have saved Lewis. Um, as we watch it again there, you can see Sykes just goes clean across the inside of the chicane. I think he knew he wasn't going to stop in time, and that was to, uh, to miss Lewis. But uh, that might have blown, uh, watching it from uh, old Bobby Lewis now from the back seat here, just... Uh, just yeah, didn't seem to stop. Um, but as we move into the last lap, though, so despite that, and just showing the tyres, uh, the, the difference in tyre life that uh, he's, Sykes is, is caught back up again with uh, Lewis. So Pengeli is gone. I think Pengeli is uh, safe in the lead unless he makes any mistakes, which is I like. I like uh, the champion lead, championship leader do that. So focusing now on the battle for second, and you can tell that Lewis's tyres begin to go. Um, coming out of Chicane, he was uh, struggling to put the power down, so they go through the S's into Tetra Rouge for the very last time. So, amazing race. Uh, Sykes is uh, going to the 12, so 12 7. Um, so, let's see what he can do. A rerun of the previous lap. So, here we go. Sykes is in the tone looking back from the uh, uh, rear bumper of Lewis, and Sykes is getting a really good run here now, so he's got down the inside. 
Uh, Lewis hasn't really defended it. Uh, Will Sykes misses breaking point again. Um, here we go, the break in the first chicane. No, this time looks like he's got it stopped. Yeah, it makes it nice and clean through the chicane. So, no trouble this time. Nice, easy manoeuvre in the end. Got a good to watch it again. Replay gets a good toe as we watch uh, as he goes past. Uh, that, was, that was pretty easy in the end. He had the inside line. Um, they could take over the racing line to under the braking uh, the braking zone. So a nice easy pass there. So I think uh, Lewis is probably uh, ruined maybe uh, going for the 2-4 stints, but as they head into uh, Indianapolis then for the last time, Sykes has got a reasonable lead but still can't make any mistakes. Uh, Lewis isn't that far behind, but uh, they probably he breaks into Arnage and, uh, and uh, as, a, yeah, as I've been speculating before, breaking Arnage is uh, a bit unsighted and can be quite uh, tricky and he's actually gone a little bit wide, so that might give Lewis uh, a chance here as they hit towards the Porsche Curves for the last time, so Sykes so looks like he's still got a bit of a lead, um, I think those fresh tyres are allowed to get away, so assuming he doesn't make any mistakes he should be safe, and here comes Pengelly, a great win in the finale, to round off the championship in style. Um, Peter Gelly takes the win at uh, Group C's and uh, Le Mans. Uh, it's a fantastic drive from him. Uh, it looks like Sykes has kept it clean. So Sykes is coming through the chicane. So a fantastic scrap for second between these two. They've been battling the whole race, but Sykes just gets it by a couple of seconds from Lewis. So fantastic drive from the pair of them. They entertained this the whole race. And you got Boulay, who uh, was uh, a leader for a long time, but now finishing fourth. Looks like he's slowing down, avoiding the penalties. But a good drive from him. Uh, fell a bit off the back of the, uh, the leading uh, trio, but a uh, great driver. Then you got Ross, a bit of a lonely drive from Ross, but a good fifth place from him, and that should secure second for him in the championship. And Charter's coming in, the Salvage finish uh, uh, sixth, and then you've got Pierce going around in the Porsche to finish seventh. Uh, not too far ahead of uh, Coleman, who's going to finish eighth in the Nissan, and then they're going to finish ninth.